Hey, you remember when you told that new guy that you wanted him to turn things upside down around here, that you weren't happy with the track we were on and you wanted a new set of tracks or something like that? Yeah, I remember that. I told him he needed to keep a close eye on his work and to make sure something happened around here because right now nothing was getting done. We needed some action on this job site. Good. I'm glad you remember that happened. I'm glad you're still proud of it because he's doing exactly what you wanted him to do. Go ahead and take a look at the picture. He is turning things upside down and he is not on the same track. Okay, what are you talking about? Oh, sweet Jesus. I mean, how does this even happen? I mean, what are we going to do about this, man? We, we got to figure something out. Hey, whoa there, boss man. Don't rope me into whatever you got going on, okay? Look, I, I'll put it like this. I told you not to hire him. You hired him anyway, and then you let him get in a piece of equipment. That's on you. I mean, really, there's only a couple options anyway. Option number one is you just call the insurance company. Tell them we've totaled another piece of equipment and make that the fourth claim we've had since New Year's. Man, listen, we, we cannot have another claim again this month, man. It's, we just can't. They're, they're still not too happy about all y'all getting drunk one day after hours, coming back here and trying to turn one of the pieces of equipment into an Autobot. I mean, you know how hard it was for me to explain what happened? They're still not sure if they're going to cover that. We, we cannot have another claim. Well, I mean, there, there are other options. But, I mean, me personally, we could. We could just backfill the hole, leave it in there. Then call the insurance company and say it was stolen. Because I'm going to tell you right now, it's a lot easier to call the insurance company and tell them it's stolen than it is to tell them it's upside down in a hole. I don't know, man. I, I really don't want to call the insurance company and lie to him like that. I, I just don't understand how it happened. He, he brought his resume. He said he had 20 years of experience operating. He had 20 years of experience? That, that doesn't even make any sense, man. He's only like 28. How, how does that add up? I don't know. I think he said he worked a lot of overtime in his last job or something. Oh, okay. No, yeah, that, that checks out. That checks out. There is always option C. Plan number three. I mean, we could do it. Okay, well, what is it? Let me hear it. Well, plan three, option C, my personal favorite. We pick that thing up out of that hole he put it in, drag it over to the edge of the job site, and call the rental company we got it from and tell them it won't start for some reason. And that's it. Tell them we need another one. I'm thinking that's the go-to right now. I don't know, man, that's that's really messed up. I mean, I I mean that kind of is the only option that wouldn't cost us any money at all. Not a penny. That's why we pay for the insurance when we rent the equipment. Yeah, is this United Rentals? Uh, I think the battery or something is dead on the excavator you brought out here. Could you have somebody come look at it and maybe bring us another one? We got a lot to do and we don't need a piece of equipment broke down. Welcome to the dark side, boss man. When you're off that phone call, we should really talk about the dozer that's on fire, too. 